Joel Hangups. Uh, who here asked the question before about the opening? The issues with opening with patients. I remember there was a question. I think you brought it up before, right? That's one of my things that, especially with guided surgery, I like to pre-screen my patients now, especially with back molar areas. You never know, because with using guides, these, um, these drills, this equipment, is also a little bit longer than what we're used to with freehand surgery. And you can't basically change the angle, angle based on the biomechanic movements of their jaw. For example, hey, you know what? She can't open all the way down, so let's let's scoot it to the side and maybe maybe alter the placement a little bit. We'll upgrade it with a custom abutment later. We're planning this on Blue Sky. We're seeing it in the software. We're not sure how much they can open. During my console appointments, I usually make them close their eyes and open as big as you can. And then quickly, I you know eyeball it. I'm like, okay, we can do we can do two molars back there. If they have a limited opening, you know sometimes you can't get a second molar in that place. Here's a video of uh, one of those kind of nightmare situations. Uh, both those implants are actually restored now, even though how sketchy the surgery went. Is the sound working on here? I don't think it is. You don't really need it, but basically we're yelling open, open, please open. So this patient's sedated. The, the drill barely clears her upper molars and uh, can't get it out. Yeah, you basically have to twerk the jaw down and kind of like slide it in and it's not one of those surgeries you want to have all the time. It easily prevented if you were to screen for it before.